Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. As you can see, it's a little bare in here right now because all the beer is going out. We're going to ship it over to my parents' house for a while while I do this little sobriety thing, helping my wife out doing some stuff right now, getting the beer out of the house. However, we had a, a mishap. A beer fell and the cap opened. So we need to do this beer review right now. But this is a beer that I was actually really sad that it opened because I was going to share this with somebody. This is actually Semiklaus. This is uh, from Schloss Eggenberg from Austria. Uh, and this is actually the 2006, so this was brewed in 2005. And it's 2014 right now, so that's, oh my, old. You know, nine years, something like that, awesome. 14% alcohol by volume. And let me tell you, the smell, it smelled good. But the cap is no longer sealed. So we have to get this done. Thankfully, it stayed strong enough to maintain most of the beer. You know, I mean, only a small puddle of beer came out, so that's really great. All right, so let's get it into the glass. I don't know what kind of carbonation it's been sitting for a little bit, so I don't know what kind of carbonation escaped over over the minutes, the moments. Really nice glass. Love that label. Really classy looking label. Really good stuff. And it's brewed only once a year. It's brewed every December 6th. And then it's aged, I think, for t 10 months, 10 or 12 months in oak barrels. And then it's finally uh, bottled. Just like the one that I've had from 2000, whatever the hell it was, there's no head on it when you actually pour it. But there's just like this rim, this solid rim of alcohol legs creeping up the glass. Even when it sits still, you can still see the rim. And then you, if you, you know, move it around, you'll, you can see it. It's sheets, sheets of alcohol. Just a soft carbonation by the looks of it. That's fine. Nice mahogany, mahogany kind of just dark, almost almost wine-like color to this. It's really nice. Then you put it up to the light, then you get these bright ruby hues coming coming through the whole thing. Let's get some aromas. Oh man, it's so nice. It's just it's so nice. I mean, it's like dark, dark, dark raisins and dark just really chewy burnt caramels and brown sugars and burnt sugars and the caramel you get walnut husks mm. it's so savory sweet it's really great so let's get into this one 2006 vintage of Santa Claus oh yeah cheers That's beautiful. It's beautiful. So smooth, easy drinking. You would never tell it's it's almost 15%. Nice, sweet, sweet, chewy caramel notes. And then you don't really get the butterscotch like some some beers that I like, but you get like a real good toffee nugget kind of kind of note to it. A lot of sweetness, but it's not overly overbearing sweet. It's pretty bold though. Um, floral booze coming off with those kind of just like soft raisins and those dark fruit notes. Mm. Brown sugar. Just caramelized sugar, brown sugar. You just, it's, it's just like a cacophony of different dark savory flavors. It's really nice. Yeah, that kind of almond walnut uh, character is really nice too. I like that. I think that might come extra with aging. Um, the alcohol astringency is, or, and everything like that is really toned down. Last time I sipped on this for a while when I had the newer version, I almost got a acetone kind of aroma after a while from the alcohol. Um, it didn't deter from the drinking, but that you don't want that, right? This, I'm not getting that. I don't think I'm going to get it because this is a lot calmer than the one that I had before. So I've got an Imperial Stout I have to drink and this. <laughs> Didn't expect to do that today. Anyway, the aged version of this, I'm not going to pull any punches at 10. It's just that good. This is great.
I'm actually, I mean, only a small puddle came out of that cap, and I'm still sad I lost that much. It's a big old ABV, though. The Castle Brewery in Edinburgh, Austria. I'd actually love to go visit these these guys um, next time I'm over in Germany. See about maybe, because we're pretty close to Austria when we visit Germany. So that might be definitely something to check out. Go to Schlossegenburg, you know, that that kind of stuff. It'd be really fun. And it's brewed once a, once a year, December 6th. Uh, Summer Klaus is aged for 10 months uh, before bottling. I don't know if it's in, oh, in, in barrels or not, but it's definitely aged for 10 months, so it's just lagered, basically. The beer is uh, perhaps... Ooh, Jesus. The beer is perhaps the rarest in the world. Santa Claus may be aged for many years to come. Older vintages become more complex with a creamy, warming finish. Absolutely, 100%. This is an excellent beer. Actually, holy crap! Matt from Massive Beer Reviews gave me this bottle, so thank you very much, Matt. And I actually wanted to share it with you, and it fell, so I couldn't do that. But, this has been Paul from PA Brew News. Check out Matt and Massive Beer Reviews on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. So, uh, yeah. Cheers to my last beer before I fall off the wagon again. <laughs> Cheers.